Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrim. In the last few videos I've released, a few videos talking a little bit about buffs and nerfs either that happened already, happening Tuesday, or that are happening in patch 7.1. A lot of you guys that do play Assassination have voiced your opinions, have voiced your thoughts, and I clearly heard you guys in the comments, and you guys are the most outspoken ones, the guys that play Assassination. I think the most, uh, the outspokenness goes by assassination being the most, next is subtlety with a lot of subtlety pride happening, and then we got outlaw, which are fairly satisfied players for the most part, but anyway, I just want to talk a little bit about the assassination rogues in the video, assassination rogues in the chat, as so to say, and just talk to you guys a little bit about how I feel about assassination. So this player is really geared at somebody who is trying to enjoy assassination but isn't sure if it's worth playing it. Because on one hand you have players that are saying assassination not deals zero damage, give it back blind, give it back gouge, give it back all the rogue things that it had and then it is, back, is useless and Blizzard gave it back more money. But on the other hand you have the gung ho players that are like why would you ever play any other spec other than assassination. It's assassination or basically get the fuck out. Play assassination and only assassination, assassination for life, yada yada yada. And you're the player in the middle that's just like not sure which one to listen to, not sure how to really approach the situation. You just want to enjoy the spec and play it at your own convenience, be it PvE, PvP, whatever the hell you want to play. You just want to find a spec that's good to play. And now you're having second thoughts whether assassination is good or even viable. And here I am, Dalaran the Rogue, making a video talking a little bit about assassination to clear up any of the muddiness, give my personal opinion of assassination as well as my reasonings to back up what I'm trying to say. So hopefully you guys you will enjoy this video and hopefully this clears any bits of assassination questions that you guys may have had or currently have. So, Assassination Rogues, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about the nerfs that happened, nerfs or buffs that are happening Tuesday, and then the future changes for 7.1, as well as overall where does Assassination fit. And I'll go through the first part fairly quickly. The nerfs that happened uh, not long ago, it was a 30% damage or a 30% agility nerf, which is in a way damage nerf. Uh, you know, there was also a 10% uh, flat stat nerf for everybody else so in a way assassination got hit by 40 percent agility nerf in a single go as somebody who doesn't have a fully developed assassination weapon and somebody who isn't planning on it because i'm not planning on maining assassination in the future i'm all about playing outlaw as somebody who has a somewhat built up assassination weapon i felt pretty strong without having a fully built assassination weapon and the assassination weapon is only going to make the spec better as it complements better with bleeds and poisons in the future, it complements better with your burst, it complements better with your overall spread pressure, the weapon as you build it rewards you. But the issue was somebody like me who doesn't even invest a point into the weapon was able to go into BGs and top charts which is a little bit silly. It feels a little bit better if somebody who really dedicates the time into assassination to be able to perform best at it than somebody who doesn't really dedicate that much time into it. And it was just like one of those weird things where it's like, well, I guess you don't have to build the weapon fully in order to be able to perform well. So then at a moment's notice, you could just switch specs and adjust your playstyle for the arena and, um, you know, get easy rating or whatnot. But I feel like that's what Blizzard decided to do with Assassination is they nerfed the agility because then eventually for PvP, as you build up the artifact weapon, which is probably one of the more powerful artifact weapons because it just has so many good passive and active traits for PvP, um, the weapon itself ends up making Assassination really, really powerful spec in the future. Maybe not uh, sustain, maybe not survivability much, maybe it doesn't give it too much amazing mobility, but the damage is definitely there. And if assassination is allowed in order uh, you know, to rain the dots and do the lineups and perform the burst uh, properly on an enemy, it is literal destruction and there's not much another player can really do once an assassination rogue opens up on them and starts sneaking them down and the player doesn't have a trinket. And I feel like that's the nerf that has happened uh, recently. So as me, who doesn't have a fully geared up weapon, I actually felt assassination damage wasn't too nerfed. It didn't feel bad. And what I'm trying to say is, yes, the damage numbers were lower, but when I'm playing assassination, I didn't feel worse than I was. It felt to me like it's a little bit harder for me to, you know, nail down a healer, nail down certain, uh, you know, uh, key players over BG like healers tanks and maybe some big damage dealers like warlocks because and that's my thought process behind it I don't have a fully built up artifact weapon 
as an outlaw rogue, I have many tools to counter melee and ranged and whatnot, and I have no problem with healers whatsoever, but that's because I have a fully built up spec and fully built up weapon. And then it's like there's subtlety and assassination where I can't really fully destroy a healer like I can on my outlaw rogue, but then again, I have a built up weapon on one spec and I don't have built up weapon on the other two. So then it kind of starts making sense. And then you have a bunch of different quotes and comments from other people that do dedicate their time into subtlety that say, I'm feeling fine with subtlety. I'm, you know, no problem on my end. I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm doing the same thing I was able to do. And then you have those same comments on Assassination Rogan saying that, yeah, I'm able to perform the same way I can do. As well, we can take a look at the latter. If honestly the Assassination Rogue nerf and the Subtlety Rogue uh, nerf that happened recently, if they were that detrimental, we wouldn't even see a single Subtlety or an Assassination Rogue on the ladders. But as you can see, they're pretty up there. And I mean, then as you look through other pages, which I didn't bother recording, if you look through other pages, at least in the US servers, you see a plenty of variety of Outlaw Rogue, Subtlety Rogue, Assassination Rogues, and it doesn't seem like one is, you know, miles ahead of everybody else it seems like you can play just about any spec of rogue and you can perform well now I want to talk a little bit about the future buffs that are coming out for assassination in general as well as the PvP and those buffs either have been applied already depending on when you watch the video or they are applying Tuesday and it will be Tuesday on the 27th so depends when you watch this video you'll know that based on date, deadly poison damage increased by 30%. Increasing that will basically allow you for a little bit more sustained damage whether you run hemorrhage or whether you're running master poisoner. Phantom knife damage increased by 30% is really an AOE type of thing for PvE. And then you have bag of tricks which is an artifact talent. Duration reduced to 3 seconds but overall damage unchanged. So with bag of tricks on a random in venom you'll drop a poison vial under enemy's feet in an area of effect and it will last there I think for six seconds instead of or five five or six seconds under the enemy and it will deal damage in pvp people will be able to basically run away and run out of the pool but with these changes an enemy would need to stand in the pool not all five seconds but only for three seconds to take like 200k worth of damage or so depending on your artifact weapon and how it gets for pvp but a decent chunk of damage which does account into your burst every time you use in venom and it is an aoe pool as well and even its radius has been increased to 3 yards from 3, so it has even more viability. So the Bag of Tricks isn't a PvP change really, but it does help for PvP. So in a way, it is like a bursty buff about random in Venoms for assassination. And then in patch 7.1, we have a bunch of changes for leveling, but there is a change for assassination where your artifact weapon ability will now generate you an extra common point which is super nice in my opinion. So you'll be able to have a little bit extra a little bit extra utility for the artifact weapon as it will generate you an extra common point and generating common points is as you know very very helpful for a rogue because then you're able to get your ruptures up earlier, you're able to combine it maybe into your opener rotation where you use cheap shot and garrote and everything and to be able to now sneak in your artifact weapon as a common point generator is going to be nice and something fun to play around with. Also, it kind of allows for a little bit more common point generation as convenience to an ability you are already going to be pressing. So, it's really nice for assassination in general, and I feel like a lot of rogues will be able to take advantage of that in PvP. Now, when it comes to people saying that, oh, assassination deals zero damage, uh, it needs blind, it needs gouge, it needs every rogue to see out there, give him disarm, give him combat readiness back, like all that jazz. I feel like it's a little bit of an over-exaggeration, mainly because of just how Assassination Rogue fits in the meta for arenas right now, and even PGs. Currently, melee cleaves are very, very strong, and they're probably predicted to be continuously strong in the future, as Blizzard does not want healers to have such, you know, overpowering reign as they did in the past. Healers have been able to outlive many DPS, uh, uh, training them down. A wrestler druid would just put up hots on himself and sit in bear form and you can tell if he's either playing restoration druid or guardian druid at that point, mainly because of just how tanky he gets and how much healing he gets. And it's just like, it was a bit silly watching a warrior and a death knight unload all of their cooldowns and then completely get countered by a bear. A restoration druid sitting in bear with hots ticking. As melee cleaves are very popular right now and are probably going to be popular in the future, Assassination Rogue fits very well with other melee cleaves as it brings a couple different things to the table. First of all, it brings basically constant slows on a single target, it ha brings a lot of ramping and just very viable pressure on a single target, a lot like a combat rogue did in Warlords of Jenner. So sitting one target and training them down is very effective and it literally destroys players. 
Another thing you bring into the table is a silence as well as healing reduction. So you are able to play with multitudes of different classes like hunters, you can play with uh, demon hunters, you can play with uh, warlocks, you can play with mages, you can play with uh, death knights, you can play with many classes. And as meta continues from away from Melecles, which is the reason why I mentioned some of the casters, you will have other caster positions open. Technically right now is assassination, you could play fairly effectively with a mage because you already have the damage modifiers to help the mage line up extra burst damage while you already apply extra burst damage onto an enemy with all your pressure that you already have. So assassination rogues do have enough of utility, might not be CC based utility, but enough of utility to make healing and running away and doing the basic things a healer would as much of a struggle as possible. So when you are going around and you are sending healers and you are training other classes, rogues, whatever the hell you're training, you're not only slowing them, you're not only putting them into massive pressure with all your bleeds and stuns and buffing up all your stun damage in case you end up going prey on the weak, you are also able to silence the enemy back to back to really just you know, annoy them, you're able to reduce the heals, there's just a lot of pressure you're putting out as a single class and you're just making the enemy's life miserable. And that's basically what you're supposed to be doing assassination. And simply because of the way that it combos right now with other melee, with the way it can combo with other casters and the spec is just overall a rogue as well. So keeping up faint is always damage reduction, having faint or having vanish is the ability to get away from an enemy, having shadow step is the ability for you to kick a uh, certain cast, having a heal like every other rogue is the ability to, for you to be at a little bit of healing once you start getting trained really really hard. So you still are a rogue, which is the way you are played is a little bit different. So for example, an assassination rogue deals pressure to an enemy through literally the raw damage. A subtlety rogue has a combination of raw damage, mobility, and CC in order to put enemies at pressure. And an outlaw rogue has just a tremendous amount of CC with a cooldown reduction to be able to put two stuns into a single blind onto a single enemy in, in order to be able to force pressure from enemies as well as a really good burst once you have all your cooldowns available. So it's just a difference of playstyle, but I feel like it is not that much worse of a difference of playstyle. And it's fairly viable. It is very simplistic because all you're trying to do is make one person's life miserable. Instead of assassination, uh, as a subtlety or an outlaw rogue, you're trying to make many people's lives miserable with a cross CC and being able to, being able to multi-dot enemies and swap pressure from one player to another. Assassination just doesn't have all that extra CC, but it does have the damage and it does have the quality of life, I guess, disintegrations through the massive slows, the healing reduction that the other specs don't get, the triple silence that can be used on healers, the just amazing amount of training damage that literally does cause other players to just kill over. And all this is done with the combination of your artifact weapon, your class talents, your PvP talents, and they are unique talents in its own way. For assassination or to be able to function properly and be able to perform fairly well in pvp so tldr uh is assassination rogue inviable after the nerfs it isn't inviable it is completely viable and playable now you just it doesn't reward players that don't put a single point into the artifact weapon aka me and i'm just not even maining assassination so for me it's like i'm not even gonna put a single point of artifact weapon uh, power into the spec so it does make sense. And is the spec going to get only better in the future? Yes, it is for PvE and PvP. So the spec is only going to get better from here on. I guess we'll just have to monitor the future buffs to the spec as the uh, I guess the time goes on. But so far, after playing a little bit of Assassination, after getting you guys' feedback and comments, after I guess doing a little bit more of my own research, after looking up other rogues and how they play in their builds, and anybody who plays assassination it, and taking a closer look at the artifact weapon these are some of the things that i was able to derive from it assassination is still not going to be the spec i am going to be maining i'm all about outlaw i am not going to be playing as competitively assassination subtlety and i with, with with the way that the specs are currently are i will have to level up the artifact weapon so i am probably going to put some time leveling a second rogue and putting and splitting the artifact weapons between assassination and subtlety just so I can have a little bit better and easier time testing both specs. But on paper the 30% buff did sound pretty terrible so I guess uh, you know you just have to take a buff 
what Blizzard provides and uh, give it a try. See how it functions, see how it works and uh, derive some conclusions from it, which is exactly what I did in this video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about assassination. Do you think it's completely inviable or do you think it still has a dog in a fight? Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.